Searching my mother's family tree, I can go back three generations to my great-grandmother, Maddie Duncan, born free in 1891, 28 years after slavery had been abolished. But I knew that her mother's mother was brought over here in chains, but knowing from what African country has always been a mystery. So I decided it was time to find the missing link. In April, I took the African Ancestry DNA test. All right, we're going to try this. Sent it off to a lab. Then six weeks later, I jumped on a plane, flew to Washington, D.C. to learn the results. Dr. Page, I'm so Shannon. excited to meet you. Hey, how was your trip? Oh, it was long, but I'm here. Welcome. Thank Welcome you. to African Ancestry. So... We did find your maternal ancestry in West Africa, and we found your maternal results in two countries. The first country is the country of Liberia. Really? Yes, and Liberia is well known to people because it was repatriated by formerly enslaved Africans. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's sort of Liberia's claim to fame. The people within the country of Liberia that you share ancestry with are the Pele people. The Pele are the largest ethnic group in Liberia. And um, traditionally, they were rice farmers. The second country that you share ancestry with is right next door to Liberia, and it is Sierra Leone. In Sierra Leone, you share ancestry with the Temeni people. Okay. Some of your cousins, mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey, we trace to the Pele people mm. living mm -hmm. in Liberia today. And then the Temeni people are people like um, Coretta Scott King. But even as you were mentioning some of those women and knowing who they are, mm -hmm. now kind of stirs up in me like, wow, that's awesome. What I want you to take away, Shannon, from all of this is that you are the descendant of a woman who came from that part of West Africa, from somewhere between Sierra Leone, present-day Sierra Leone, and Liberia. And, and she made it. She made it through the Maafa. She made it through auction blocks. She made it through plantation living, Jim Crow, segregation, and you have her exact same mitochondrial DNA. Her DNA is in your, every cell of your body. And so now you can honor that woman in a very special way because you have this specific connection to her ancestry and your ancestry. Right, especially when you know how much she went through through her lineage even to get to me today and so that means there's nothing that you can't do she did all that and she passed on her dna to you that's pretty damn cool <laughs> thank you so much you're welcome congratulations what a moment yes when you heard those words was it really life-changing to know the journey of your family to know the journey but most importantly when you know where you come from, it not only gives you a sense of pride, but it gives you identity. And I've already gone down the rabbit hole of learning as much as I can about Sierra Leone and uh, Liberia. And in Sierra Leone, I can actually have dual citizenship. I imagine it's going to be on your travel list now. You know it. And <laughs> by the way, when's lunch with Oprah? I got to figure that out because now she needs to know we're cousins. Exactly. <laughs> Well, TMJ4 is proud to be the broadcast partner of Milwaukee's Juneteenth Parade. So join